This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex, this is the Ramble. We're here until midnight tonight. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, from the far flung reaches of our universe, up there in where are we again? Worcester, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Worcester, Massachusetts. It's the lovely music and song stylings of Stephen Kravitz. Hello, Stephen. Thank you very much. How are Hello, you? Hello, Alex. How yeah. are you? How's your teeth doing? Uh, I'm getting, you know, I got another dentist appointment on the 24th. You know, it's it's strange, they, they, but they got rid of the front tooth, right? Right, right. You know, we've come so far in dentistry, right? Yeah. They still use a pliers to pull out the, the root canal. Well, they don't use pliers. Yes, they do. No, there's an extraction tool. <laughs> it's an extraction it's tool. Now, what it is, it's like, um, I don't want to make people too queasy. And this shouldn't make them queasy. It's actually easier than you think. It's like they get under the root and then they pry it out. It's like uh, taking, a, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, taking yeah. a nail out of a piece of wood. It's not pliers. What do you mean pliers? Did they come well, there's a pair, You know the tray where they have their instruments? Yeah. There was a pair of pliers on there. And what I'd do if I were a dentist, just for the joke of it, I'd put a pair of pliers and a chainsaw. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, but uh, the thing that gets me, like, I may have to, I have some problem with a tooth here. Maybe I'm going to have to lose it. Now, I guess in normal talking, you won't see it. Right. While it's healing and all of that, and I'll probably go get it, you know, uh, 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 extracted. Well, if it has to be extracted, I will then put in a uh, implant or whatever. Right. And uh, but in the meantime, there's a space there, right? Right. And I'm on the air every night, right? Now I, I got to talk to people. I got to look. You know, it's hard enough for me at my age to look good. Okay. Well, come on now. Enough with your age. Yeah, but you look just fine. Oh yeah, fine. I look like a, I look like a, a piece of melted caramel. I thought you had your eyes fixed. No, I had the. Uh, they had to lift the. Uh, they had to lift the eyelids. See. Right. Because see now my eyes, you can see the full circle of my eyes, but what happened was they were going like this, so that they were. I I, I was only getting half vision. Okay. Oh, really? So it was a medical procedure, so I didn't right. have to pay for it. But anyway, um, but the thing is that it, it, what what do they do with people who are like in show business and they need uh, something in there so it doesn't look like they've lost a tooth? Well, there used to be a thing when I got my first couple of uh, of uh, implants called a uh, clipper. And what it is, clipper, and it's like a little false tooth that you just, no matter if you don't have anything there, you just, mm, you push it up in there and it fills the spot up with it, with a tooth. Mm. And so I said to my, uh, my, uh, and I found the clipper was actually good enough that if I didn't even get an implant, I was fine with the clipper. Right, you know? right, right, right. So then I asked my latest doctor, I said, well, I don't know if I want to get, the, if I get the tooth pulled, I don't know if I want to do an implant. Uh, what about uh, a, a clipper? clipper? And she said, oh, we don't do that anymore. You could swallow those, you know, whatever. And I'm going, wait a minute, you know, it really looked good. It was a great way to solve the problem. Every morning I'd wake up, I'd take this thing, you know, mm, and after a while, I didn't even know it was there. Right, Okay. Right. Uh, you should be able to get a clipper. They should have a clipper they can put in front of you while your mouth is healing. One would hope. Yeah. One would hope. But don't forget, I'm on Medicare and Medicaid. So I'm, I'm like going to clinics. I'm not going to real high-end dentists. You're not going to high-end dentists, huh? Right. Uh, what do you mean clinics? 
Well, like where I went to get the tooth extracted, it was called Webster Square Dental Care. And Webster's Care, Dental Care, yeah. Right, I, 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 you know, if I had a choice, I wouldn't have gone there. Why? Uh, it just seemed, um, what's a nice word of putting it? Ghetto. What you're saying is it looked like a tooth extraction place, but also part-time abortion clinic? Yeah, or, or part-time <laughs> automotive part. <laughs> so it wasn't that nice. Well, what about your regular dentist? Don't... My regular dentist is fine. Yeah. She's good. She's good. Now, she the one that sent you to this place to have it extracted? Right, right, right. right. Why didn't she do that? My dentist does the extractions, too. You know, I don't know. I mean, I've had to go to different dentists for different things. Well, here is the horrible part about all of this. You're having to get what is the minimum care. Right. Because you've got you've got Medicare, and then you've right. got Medicare supplement, not supplemental, but Medicare Advantage. Right. Which takes care of... Dental. Dental. But right. not much dental and not a lot of dental, and... Certainly, they won't pay for an implant, for instance. No, no. That's why I had to get dentures on the bottom. Right. And it would be much better if you had, like, two implants there, and then they put the denture in. Right. You know? Oh, it would be a lot better. Yeah. Then you wouldn't have to take it out every night. You wouldn't have right. to. You know, it would be just like having teeth. All right. right. wouldn't have to glue it in. But you can't do that because the government isn't paying for it. Right. Well, you know, fuck you, government. You know, yeah, no kidding. How much money did you pay to, in taxes over the years? You know, and how much did you give to this nation in one way or another? Right. Okay. Right. Uh, and 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 all of a sudden, now that you're getting older, they don't take care of that. You you got to go to some you know extractionist uh, really? slash uh, wart remover. You know, right. I don't know what, but you know, you shouldn't. It, the government should say, "Hey, you, you're you, you're entitled to the best you can get." You know. You would think, in theory. Yeah, and and God knows this country makes enough money. Right. You know? I mean, why else can we send like three billion dollars over to uh, the war? Well, I think it's wonderful that we sent money over there, and I think we should be doing that. But I think we can do that too. I just think what happens is. For instance, we have a military budget in this country that is uh, 10 times that of the second largest military budget in the world for a country. Oh, is that right? I mean, Britain, it's like 10% of the, of the total gross national product or right. whatever. Ours, it's 55%. Is that right? Now, if we cut back on the military budget, which, you know, isn't making us that safe, all right? Um, it, 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 the military budget, if we cut back on that to like 20%, we could take care of everybody's dental bills. You could be having uh, implants instead of a stupid bridge uh, right. or, or a, a mouthpiece, whatever. You know, it, it's, it's time that they... Um, uh, that they reevaluate re what their priorities are, and the right. priorities in this country are: oh, we need more military, more military, more. Mi Why? We we have more than we could possibly need. We have so much that our you know our our missiles that are in silos and so on that are protecting us are going bad, and they have to replace them like every ten years with new ones because we right. don't use them. Well, no. No, there is a deterrent. Yeah, like, what kind of a deterrent? Do we send a note to Russia saying, here's our latest missile? You know? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I mean, we could better pri pri prioritize how we spend our money, and if we spend it more on our people, okay, and, that, would, and, that would be the optimum solution. And especially older people. You know, as I've gotten older, I've just become this advocate for older people. And I, I kept thinking about, you know, and you say, well, it's the Republicans, you know, they're always causing the problems and so on. Well, I don't know what the Democrats have done for old people lately. No. You know, they haven't done anything either. 
They don't care about us. You know why? Because we're going to die soon. Right. We're not going to be here much well, longer. Most of the, most of the um, people in government are old. Oh, God. Some of them are, you know, ancient. I mean, I'm, I'm old, but I think that politics should be a young profession. Right. Well, you know? they should have a, a term limit. Well, they should have an age limit. Right, and, 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 and I'm I'm saying this, folks, as someone who is 82 years old, that there should be an age limit on how old you can be in Congress because by the time they get to be, like, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Diane Feinstein is like 89 or 88. Something like that. Yeah. She's been in office forever. And she's thinking of running again. Oh, sure. You what know? else is she going to do? What else is she going to do? Well, maybe she could go home and just take, uh, go into retirement and have a nice time for the rest of her life. Nah, you know? she'd be bored. But, I mean, uh, you know, I just think she's too old to have touch. Uh, she's not in touch with modern technology. She's not in touch, you know. I, and I know what it's like to be older. And I know you don't have all your facilities about you. Right. You know, I haven't driven in 15 years or something like that or driven, owned a car in 15 years. I haven't right. driven in about four or five. I'm worried I don't know how to drive anymore. And I probably, Oh, come on. I'm sure you know how to drive. I don't know. I, you it's know, pretty and also, simple. You, you put it in drive and you step on the accelerator. Well, also, I'm woozy every now and then. And, you know, I take, uh, I go to... Uh, I take a walk one day and I fall and I hurt my hand, which is still bothering me. And I'm going, what if I'm behind the wheel of a car? How am I going to be in that kind of situation? So I have doubts I will ever drive again, you know, um, just for the safety of other people. I My business manager is 84, you know, Gary. Right. He, uh, he stopped driving. He had a little, little fender bender. That's all he had. But he said, that's it for me. He says, I'm too old to drive. Well, that's like I, I, I no longer ride a motorcycle. Same reason? Yeah. Clumsiness. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to feel like I'm clumsy. And, and also, then I, will I start uh, dozing behind the wheel of a car at 12 noon? You know, <laughs> I mean, take a little nap at the red light? Take, take a nap at the red light? Yeah, exactly. So. Well, I noticed that I drive slow now. Yeah, yeah. You drive I'm slow. I'm a guy in, in a slow lane, driving the speed limit. Well, you know, uh, my friend Shecky uh, is always complaining. He drives still, has a car, you know, but he says he doesn't go out much. He said because the other drivers are so crazy. Right. Oh, yeah. He said they're just nuts out there. You go like the speed that. limit and, they, and they're mad at you. If you're going to just the speed limit, then people get really angry at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not going fast enough. And you don't look like the kind of guy where they go, oh, look at that old fart. He's driving it, you know. Right. Yeah. You know, me, they probably would, you know. Eh, and, you don't know. Look at this. Look at this. I got this, this thing here. I'm getting to look like yeah, a, fucking, that. I'm a fucking turkey. I'm a fucking I turkey. I got a turkey neck. I'm turning into a turkey. Every now and then I'll do this to see what I would look like if I took care of it all. And then I suddenly realize I would look Chinese, you know. So. <laughs> Not that I'm putting down Asians, folks, but they do have a different shape to their eyes than as what you used to call Asian people, round eyes. You know. No, we're round eyes. We're round eyes. Yeah, they used to refer to us as round eyes. Right. Yeah, but uh, you know, not that this isn't attractive, you know, but whatever. So anyway, so that's what I'm saying. You know, they 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 just don't take care of us, you know, and. And, and we have spent our lives giving into this society, paying taxes and voting and doing all, of, all at least all the things you got to do to be a decent citizen. And right. then when we get to be 82, they don't give a crap. Ah, they're going to be dead in a couple of years. They won't be able to vote. You know? You know? Goodbye to them. So, And I just think, I think it's time that, that, that older people got up and, and demonstrated and made trouble. You know? Why not? We got nothing else to do. Well, it might interfere with the nap. You're right. I mean, I haven't been out of this apartment in about five days now. Is that right? I'm, I, I'm, I've forgotten how to walk. 
Oh, stop it. Yeah. Stop it. You walked over to the chair, didn't you? Yeah, but I mean, it, it, I flopped down into this chair. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's on rollers, and I just roll this all over the house, is what I do. You know. Oh, stop it. You do not. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, they're, they're, but the, it, what bothers me is I used to have a joke. I was going to do a podcast called Nobody Likes to Hear Old People. Right. And, uh, and maybe hosted by me and my wife, you know. Nobody, nobody wants to talk about old people. And the fact is that they don't care about old people, you know. Uh, we somehow are dismissed still. I yeah, mean, but everybody we know, Alex, now is old. Yeah, but I mean, see, I see all these people fighting for their rights. Blacks, Asians, uh, uh, gays, straight, you know, they're like uh, 84 different varieties of being gay now. I saw a whole list, you know. Is that uh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and they're all fighting and so on and so on. Well, they're younger, so they make more noise, you know. Right. But, right, right, but, right. But, but older people, and there are a lot less of us, because a lot of people die, you know, average male mortality is, I think, still somewhere around 75, 76. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, and women, it's like 77, 78, you know. I they, know women live longer. They live longer. The reason why guys don't live as long is because of the women in their lives. But anyway, <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm only... Alex said that, not me. I'm only joking. Well, you know what I find is good about being old and being this age and, and, and really being unemployed, you know, in the broadcast business, is that I can say pretty much anything I want to here and fuck you. Oh, yeah. You know, what are you going to do? You're going to... You're going to... You're going to... Uh, 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 me to me? Go ahead. Go do it. I don't give a crap. Right. I have nothing to lose. Right. What? Oh, wow. Yeah, nothing left to prove. You have nothing left to prove either. Yeah, I mean, come on. Come here. Let me goose you. You know, they report me to somebody. Yeah. You know. That would get me in the news. Yeah, right. You know, give me some publicity. So, I mean, I don't really give a crap what I say. Like, I have one guy who used to call this program, my nighttime program all the time, who quit calling because he was afraid it might affect his job if somebody heard what he was saying politically. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that if I were, say, 50, and I had a radio program, I'd be careful about what I did online. I might even stay off being online. So there's no contemporaneous record of what I did. Right. You know? Right, 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 uh, right. So, uh, I mean, I always get very mad at these companies who fire like somebody who's got a radio show for them because of something they wrote on Twitter. Well, I, it, excuse me, but isn't Twitter what you do in your off time? Right. Not what you're doing. You know, if, if you didn't say it on your radio program, then it shouldn't matter if you say it in a tweet. That's your own business. Well, yeah, but it, it depends on what you say and the severity of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm locked out of Facebook right now. You told me that. I still can't get in there. What do you mean you can't get in there? I can't get in there. I can't get into my account. Why? Uh, the email doesn't go through to give me the code to get to the access to get to my oh, account. Oh, you know what it is? And there's, no, and there's no phone number to call. There's a phone number, but it says we, we're not taking calls right None now. None of these companies want to talk to you. Forget they it. They phone number. They don't want to talk to you. In the old right. days, you could call them and they would, they would deal with you. Right. Uh, but the point is that what probably happened is that you, when you joined Twitter, you had another email account. You mean Facebook? Facebook, rather. And when you signed in for it, you probably put in another email address. Right. Now, you don't have your last email address, do you? You don't have access right. to it. Right, so right, that's right. So that's what the problem is. Right. So, and then, and then they, they do the same, you know, to secure my account and they have you hold up your driver's license and take a picture of it yeah and then they say well that doesn't prove that you you say you you, you are who you say you are oh okay well fuck them you know what so you I, you know so what, i'll have no facebook well you know what you can do just re-sign up for facebook 
That's what I did do. Yeah, yeah. So you now have. And I have, I have no friends. Oh, I, I, you know something that happened the other day to me. What's that? I got a thing. I wrote. I wrote you or called you, right? To right, say, right, 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 right. You got a a, 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 a note from me, but wanting to borrow five hundred dollars. Wanting to borrow five hundred dollars. And so I, you know, of course, if it were you, I'd find some way to give you the five hundred dollars if you really right. needed it. But I'm just not going to take the word. But it said Steve Kravitz. It had a little, a little caricature of you. Right. Right. Somebody so, hacked my account. Somehow they spoofed your account. You know right. that, that that may be the reason you couldn't get back in. They may have changed. That's why I can't get back in. And they have my phone number because they sent me a text message saying, uh, you know, do you want your account back? It's going to cost you money. Oh, that's a that's a uh, uh, the, that that's a. Uh, a hack too, right? The, 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 and I, yeah, this guy said uh, I need five hundred dollars. I said, "You're not, you're not Steve Kravitz." I just talked to Steve Kravitz, and you, it's not you. And the guy says, "No, really, I need the money." That was his next little note on my, th and I'm going, "These guys are just ridiculous." But how they get your information, how they got into your account. So what I think happened is. Somebody got into your account. They then changed the password. Right, right, exactly. So now it's their account to use. Right. Okay, and you can't get back in. And right. you should have a place where you can call or write Facebook and say, this is going on. Somebody has hacked my account. Right. You know? Uh, right. And just write them and tell them that. Either that or if you can, call them. Go to, go to Google and just type in phone number for Twitter. I did phone number for Facebook, and I, there's Facebook, a phone number, brother, and I called it, and they don't answer the phone. They say we don't offer this service at this time. Well, you know th that 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 really sucks because what happens is you're you've been hacked. That person is then trying to get money out of other people. Who knows right. how many of your friends may have actually given them money? You know. Uh, I know one guy. They asked for Bitcoin. Bitcoin? Yeah. Hmm. They wanted him to send him five hundred dollars in Bitcoin. Well, oh, it was five hundred. They keep you up to the same price they always have. Right. Right, right, right. right. That's very very nice. Very nice. She's almighty. You At know? least they're consistent. Wow. Um, but I And I bet they're gonna if if I answer their text that says do you want your your Facebook account back, I bet they're gonna ask for five hundred dollars from me. You want to bet? Well, they are holding it for, for ransom. Now, you right. should you should write, if you can write Facebook, write them a letter and say, something terrible has happened with my account. Somebody right. has hacked into it and is using it and sending out mails to other people in my name asking for money. Right. Okay? And I, I would like to get back into my account, but I can't because they obviously have changed the password. Right. So I would like to be able to get back into my account and uh, my old email address does not apply. I did not change it, does not apply because I don't have that email anymore. Right, right. What right. do I do? Right. Hmm. And there's nobody to talk to. There's nobody, I know there's nobody to talk to. So, you know, I mean, but I mean. Just go to Facebook and go to the help, go to help page but I can't get into Facebook to go to the help page oh boy you know see that that sucks that, no absolute, kidding. that absolutely sucks no kidding shouldn't be shouldn't be oh boy well what are you gonna do you know but I mean, uh, I would I would write them or maybe I can even write them for you and say look you know this is ridiculous uh I mean, you literally have been locked out of your old account. You have a new account right. now, but you've been locked out of your old one. Right. In a new account, I have no friends. Well, feel yourself fortunate. I have 500 of them, and I don't know a single one. No, you're right. You're right. You know, these are people that signed up when I was over at Sirius XM years ago and have never stopped being my friend. Right, right. Although I was getting um, the Ramble feed. The Ramble feed? Right. 
What do you mean the Ramble feed? Well, I was I was getting um, the shows that we did. Oh, okay. On my on my news feed. Oh, how how did that happen? Well, it, uh, yeah, I do post the shows on Facebook. Right. So I was getting them. Yeah, I do post the shows on Facebook. Yeah. So yeah. That's yeah. when I learned I have to keep my head up. I can't look down all the time because when I'm up here like this, I'm looking down to talk to you. Oh well, I have my thing set so that I'm I'm when I'm looking at you, it looks like I'm looking at you. Right, if right, I right, you. right. Hey, listen, we've run out of time here, Stephen. Already? Yeah, so shut the fuck up and let's get out of here. All right. I'll, I'll hopefully, I'll talk to you next week. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Kravitz. Thanks, folks. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its seventh year, talk like you've never heard it before. Well, that skipped. That was nice. That was nice. The whole thing's breaking down on me. Hey, listen, I, I uh, uh, well, there's nobody waiting right now. So I'm going to probably just call this show off then. I, there's nobody waiting to go on. Uh, and uh, I'm, I don't, I don't need this, <laughs> you know. I'll tell you what happened today. I, I just did another one of these things where I was in the park and I started just talking and I come back and I got like, oh, 250 viewers that watched it. And I'm going, I'm having trouble getting 200 viewers a night now lately. Why am I doing this thing every night? So, you know, I mean, there's no reason for me to do it. Uh, I am I am fed up here. And there's nobody waiting. Well, um, Kevin is coming along here. So I'm going to, I will stick around for Kevin. Uh, nobody else need call. I don't want to talk to anybody else. Hi there, Kevin. How are you? Hi, uh, Alex. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Alan, uh, you're too late, Alan. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put you on. <laughs> you know, the people aren't ready to go, and I'm ready to go, and then to hell with them, right? Um, oh, I'll let, I'll let Alan in here. What the hell? You know, I mean, it's just, it's, I, I come, I, and, and what was it the other day, Marjorie and I just did a thing where we were watching the Amber Heard uh, uh, and uh, Johnny Depp thing, and we figured we'd just turn a camera on ourselves watching it, because in Britain there's a show called Google Box or Goggle Box, and um, it's just people watching television shows. All it's doing is showing them watching television shows and commenting on the television shows. So what I was doing is my own little version of Gogglebox, but with uh, Amber Heard and uh, Johnny Depp. And um, we got, I don't know, something like 400 people watched it. Uh. And we weren't doing anything except just watching television. You know, so I, I see no reason to continue doing this every night for a couple of hundred. You know, it makes no sense. I can go on and just do something like that on Facebook and come out with 400 viewers. What am I wasting my time with this? This is a lot of work, you know? Well, is you're going to move into the bedroom with Marjorie right now? Uh, well, no, she's asleep. You That's think okay. It's too late at night? Huh? You think it's too late at night for some people? No, we used to get a lot more people at this time of night. How is it, how's it any different than that? You know, so. I, yeah. uh, it's because you don't have Phil Meyer on. That's tomorrow night. Maybe, oh, that's huh? tomorrow night. Yeah, I have somebody wrote me and said, why do you have Phil Meyer on? You lose listeners when you've got him. And actually not. Yeah. It actually, I think, goes up. It really not because of him. I just think I don't know. I have no idea. I I just give up. You know, I'm tired of it. I did a thing out in the park today. I get 250 people watching it. You know. Yeah, I can see that. So well, that is a day thing too. It is a day thing. Yeah, maybe right. I should move this thing into the day. Although you know, I don't want to. I don't want to do away with that Monday thing for what it is. You know. Do the Monday thing and then skip a day and then do Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday around, I don't know, whatever time works for you. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stop doing it all together. I'm just tired. 
you know. Every time I get on the show, I hear that for the past two years. Well, it, you know, it's getting serious these days. Getting I hear you. I, I understand. I mean, I, it, it sucks, you know. The only reason I, I, I do this show every night is for Jeff. Absolutely. You, you got to teach him how to use his computer. Yeah. Um, you're you're only broadcasting yourself there, Alex. I got a word oh, here. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, folks. I was just so used to nobody calling that it didn't. Uh, there we go. There's. There a, you go. Huh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Whoever called that in. Oh, so I'm bro- hoping, hoping somebody else will uh, talk more. I had my two lower wisdom teeth removed Monday, and she didn't use enough Novocaine on one of them. And I got to tell you, that hurt like hell coming out. Well, why didn't you tell her it's hurting and she could put more? Uh, I did, uh, but she said she's halfway out and she could numb me up or I could go through another couple seconds to, to, for her to get it all the way that's out. That's usually not when, usually that's what I say to women I was dating. I, if it was a male dentist, I usually say, if it hurt, let me hold on to your nuts. And if you hurt me, I'll know, you'll know it instantly. Oh, and look what I did. I, I have Stephen Kravitz still listed up here. Um, uh, 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 I got to. I have to uh, change that, folks. Not on Zoom, though. Hold on a second. You know. Hey, it's it's uh, it's Monday. Nothing's the same on Monday. Yeah, know. except for it's Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Let me. It says that you're Steve Kravitz. Yeah. Well, you're not anymore now. Sorry. Okay. So anyway. So you know, I mean, I just I, I'm going like. Why am I? Why why do I do this? I you know work my I, yeah. This takes some work for me to do, you know, and uh, and and uh, I can just sit there and turn on my uh, my iPhone and go out <coughs> over Facebook and get more people. Yeah, and it even allows me to actually talk to people as well. Oh, we just got rid of Jeff. He'll be back. He'll be back. Oh. Hey, maybe if you walk around the room a little bit like you do in the park and show the plants and stuff. No, I don't. I wasn't even. I, I don't today, know why people don't get on the show. Today I wasn't even moving. I wasn't even uh, moving around the park. I, people I mean, didn't see the park much. There are some of us like Kevin and myself that don't work. But, you know, some people, because COVID's better under control and stuff like that, that have gone back to work. It's not better under control. Haven't you heard? No, I know. I mean, I, you know, I'm. Okay, it, you're right. It's not. I, you know, I was making a joke, and it, and, it, and it's gotten that way because uh, everybody's gotten too complacent about it. Yeah, they're listening to the politicians that say you don't need a mask anymore. It, yeah, yeah. You know what politicians are saying that? <laughs> yeah, what the, you don't need a mask anymore all it, around the country. Like who? Most, most of the cities. Like Gavin Newsom, they lowered the you don't need to wear a mask when indoors anymore. In oh, California. really? Oh, that's stupid. Oh yeah, well that's no shit. So, you know, I was I, I was in a restaurant the other day with my uh, with my roommate, and the manager had the mask around her chin, and I said, "Why do you wear the mask around your chin?" She says, "Well, if I get to a table where people were wearing masks, I don't want them to feel uncomfortable, so I put the mask on." And I said, "You know, if you put the mask on around people that aren't wearing a mask that are eating, then it makes people more comfortable." I mean, what a bimbo! You know, I mean. Gosh. You know, you got people that are wearing a mask in a restaurant in between meal or whatever, and you're willing to put your mask on that's around your chin when other people are masked up, but not when other people aren't. Well, you know, a lot of politicians lately uh, have been going with this idea of, oh, we don't need masks. You can start, it's getting better. You don't have that's to. That's what have I'm saying. Mask. Is because you know? they they want to get reelected or whatever, you know. It's an and year. and and I'm sorry, you know, it's still out there here in New York. It's it's back with a vengeance. We're back on high alert. San Francisco has almost 10% positivity rate. That's half as much as COVID uh, 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 Omicron did back in January. I'm getting daily daily uh, alerts from the high school that my daughter's been exposed by someone. Right. Does that every ha- day. Every day you get one? Every day. Well, and the thing is, I get it. I get it, and they say, Three days ago, your daughter was exposed. Well, that really tells me that's just great. Three days ago. Thanks for keeping me up to date. Yeah, thanks for keeping me updated. Um, I'll check on that maybe tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. I'll <laughs> yeah, let you listen to the medical people, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Gottlieb, some of the other 
experts in their field, they're all saying continue to wear a mask, get vaccinated, get boosted. I was you know, talking to other well, people. Well, Fauci a couple of weeks ago was saying, well, we're out of it. You well, know. the good thing about my daughter, she's she's smart about it. She wears a mask every day. And she said, you know, one night she came home a couple of weeks ago and she says, this kid behind me was coughing her brains out. And I said, well, you ha- did you have your mask? She said, yeah, I always do. I always wear it. She it's just good, does it because she's used to it. Kids. She says, I yeah. just don't, I'm not comfortable not wearing it. Even, you know, everybody says, well, you know, it's mild. If you're vaccinated and boosted, most people get it mild. That's true. The one thing that they don't take into consideration is long COVID. Long COVID is bad. It is bad. And so you may get a mild case of it and end up as a as a kid. You and I were already. Well, you're talking about the long haulers is what the term is. I think. Yeah, yeah but long, you get, long those, COVID you get that called. long respiratory crap. Like, all kinds of different things, all kinds of different symptoms. They don't know why, uh, you know, people were having heart palpitations, anxiety, depression, uh, bowel things, uh, br- brain fog, all these different things that you can get by having COVID. So, you know, I, I mean, a mask is not 100% and the vaccines aren't 100%, but they're, you put the two of them together and use your head once in a while, you know, you lessen the chance. Of well, everybody, when I'm tired of this, I'm, I don't want to do it anymore. You know, well, it's not like it was a, a fad and it's over with now. No, no. You, you know. Well, uh, this I is, went to a concert the other day. We went to Levi's Stadium to a concert on Sunday. But we all wore masks and all that crap. There was a lot of people there wearing them, too. Really? Yeah. We were went there... to see Coldplay at Levi's. It was, a, it was a super spreader. But were there a lot of people not wearing them? There was quite a few not wearing them, but I wore, we wore ours and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, good. Well, outside, it was we rode the COVID event. tube. You know, we rode VTA, so it was a COVID tube. Yep, outside uh-huh. event or inside event? It was an outside one. It was Levi's, so. Yeah, lower risk, but not not no risk. No, yep. not at all. I mean, I, I still am a little worried. I don't wear the mask outside because I, I think that really the, the chances of, of having it spread to you outdoors, I think we found, is minimal. Yeah, uh, but I'm beginning to think about crowd, what... but it, you know, a crowd in New York could be people waiting to cross a crosswalk in in New York City. There could be thirty people on that corner. Yeah, yeah. So you, you know, you're you're a smart guy. I'll let you use it when it's appropriate. I use it indoors. Whenever I go indoors, like shopping or whatever, absolutely, mask so goes on. You know, if absolutely. I go into my bank ATM, it was just kind of indoors. On goes the mask. Yeah. You know. Banks, post office, shopping, Costco, yeah. anything I go to, I wear a mask. And people come up to me and say, Haven't you heard COVID's over? You don't need a mask. And I said, You know, you don't look like my doctor. You know? I mean, say, no. Haven't you watched the news? It's not. Yeah, really. I mean, well, you know, people just want to be stupid, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and oh, it's no big deal. It's nothing worse than the cold. For most people <laughs> that are vaccinated and boosted, that's true, but most people aren't vaccinated and boosted. Yep. And then there's long COVID, that, what we were just talking about, that no, that a lot of these people aren't taking into consideration. Dr. Fauci said a couple of weeks ago in the, in the Zoom meeting that I do, he said that we're at a point in this country where we will never see herd immunity because of all the anti-vax people the past year and a half. They have fucked it up for this country permanently. Now. The reality is herd immunity is kind of a strange thing because you really need to have herd immunity around the world since we have so much contact with people coming and going. Um, So, you know, until you get herd immunity around the world with our trading partners and people that travel here and out of here, herd immunity would be hard. So, Hmm. Well, that's that. Yeah, I'm kind of fed. I'm kind of fed up with it. Oh, I am too. You no, say, oh, you, you, you don't mind wearing a mask? I said, you know, the, the upside is maybe I won't get sick or get Tell you the truth, I, I don't like wearing a mask. That's why I don't go out. Okay. You know, I, I, I mm-hmm. take, took a walk today, and I think I've forgotten how to walk. My legs are just out of out of shape. You know, yeah. I, I, it's just not... I felt, like, completely weak and everything else, and I walked. I walked like a mile today. But I mean, it was not fun. 
Yeah. Uh, right. And mm -hmm. and that's all from being indoors because I you know I look outside and I go well I can go out but there's nowhere really to go okay and when I do go uh, where do I walk the same basic walk I take all the time there are two or three different routes I will take and that's it. And then I say to myself, well, there's COVID out there. Why should I go out there? You know, I shouldn't treat this any different than when it was terrible here in New York, you know, when people were dying like crazy. Yeah, because that's my. A smart move. Huh? Well, because. Yeah, that's a little different because we got a lot more science behind it. Well, we have a lot yeah. more science behind it, but still, we can get it. Yeah. You know, and. We'll get it. and, and but I, we, don't, I, we don't have unprotected, we have, we're protected now. Somewhat, protected. you know. I Somewhat. mean, if if I get it, I'm quadruple boosted or whatever. You know, I've had four yeah. shots so far, and then uh, if you get it, they give you this uh, this uh, a pill. And you the take pills that are for really making a big difference, and the pills the pills life. then minimize it even more, and that's fine. It's nice to know all that exists, but but the but uh, who wants it in the first place? Right. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> I kind of got to treat it like the flu is, you know, and just, oh. you know, it's there, you're going to, you might get it, but you do everything you can not to get it. Right. <clears throat> so, and, you know, I told you the positivity rate in San Francisco is, you know, around 10%. The uh, hospital uh, includes uh, San Francisco General, Kaiser, and a couple Sutter, and the Catholic Hospital, whatever it is in the city. They have, they have less than 100 people with COVID hospitalized. So yeah, you know, you look at the statistics and a lot less people are hospitalized because the 83 or 84% are fully vaccinated and boosted in San Francisco and people come and go in there in that city all the time, but that's what they're tracking. So it, you know, it, this is not as contagious. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's as contagious, much more contagious than Delta. But it's not as deadly as Delta. So. so do we have any major sports event out there tonight? Yeah, the Warriors are playing. Uh, Warriors, yeah. Uh, that might be, one, playoffs. might be one of the reasons I'm not seeing any people tonight. <clears throat> you know. I mean, the Warriors' game is uh, 109 to 87 right now, and they're just about done. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. We oh. Would, you would only see Brian and... Uh, mm. uh, Somebody else, I can't think of the name. Brian will probably call in in a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so, you know, I mean, I just think that uh, we're not out of the woods, and everybody seems to th act like we're out of the woods. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It, it, it's, I just ordered four more tests from the government. Yeah. Might as well get them while I can. Yeah. You have Kaiser, Kevin? No. Kaiser, you can get them in the pharmacy for free. Or you can now order them online through Kaiser. One test that has two tests per per week, and they'll mail them to you. Yeah, but you know what they should make easily available? The medication. Because the it, medication, it you still have to go to your doctor to have them prescribe it. Not around here. Around here, you can, if you go to Walgreens or CVS and you test positive and you're of a certain age, <coughs> over 50 years old, they they are authorized to give you the medicine. Oh really? Really? Oh okay. Yep. Here so I think you gotta, that... I mean you got to test positive there in front of them in order to get it. But if you test positive with one of the home kits, you at our age you're going to call your doctor anyhow, and then you know he'll prescribe the pills and you go pick them up. You know what Shecky was telling me? You know he's going on a cruise, and he when he has to uh, come back, he has to take a test in order to get back into the United States. And there is this company now that sends you the kit and you do whatever you do with the nose thing and then you do whatever you do to have it give a result. And then what you do is you Zoom this company and they look at your results on Zoom and then give you the, uh, the okay. Yeah, oh. these these tests are pretty easy. I've, I've used them a couple times. And I won't open one up, but they have a long Q-tip. So what you do is you take mm -hmm. out the Q-tip and you stick it an inch in your nose and you move it around for 15 seconds on each side. Then you put it in this little like plastic test tube 
That's good. You probably have done it, Alex. No, I haven't done. I haven't done it. Okay, but but you put it in there. It's got a little bit of reagent or solution. You swirl it around there. Then you pull the you you pinch the 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 plastic test tube. Pull the thing out. Throw that away. Put it in the thing. Throw it away. Then you put three drops on the little test thing, and you wait 15 minutes. And it has two things. It has a control. One line says control, Mm -hmm. and it says that. Uh, the test is good and it's valid and the other one if it pops up with another line then you're positive for covid and if it doesn't then a good chance you don't have covid Hmm. okay so well the then... fda has approved like six of these different brands including this one eye health and I have uh, that one. what's that we have that one at yeah home. yeah it's, we, it, it's we do it all the time all the time depending upon who's coming yeah, but you can right. also see now you can get you can get an okay to go back to the United States by simply zooming them the, your results. You show it to them on Zoom and they look I at it and they great. go okay mm-hmm. and we okay they can do you. that on the ship in the last couple hours or something probably. No, they do that too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. they do that too. It's but, simple to do. Yeah, and that yeah, the home kits are not as good as the PCR kits. But when you're, you know, like when COVID was going nuts in January and February with Omicron, it took, you couldn't get a test. You had a week wait. So these mm-hmm. things are this mm-hmm. and, you know, and the pills and vaccinations. And so I think, I think we will see COVID if we don't see it go to a really bad variant, it'll become endemic, which is, the flu is endemic. It happens certain times a year. Well, let's get to something important here. Yeah, really. Let's talk about Alex's haircut. What about my haircut? No, I, what, what are we gonna? I'm just. You almost say the lack of haircut. Yeah, yeah. I know the feeling. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, no, I, I get to something important. Anybody been watching the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial? <laughs> yes, I watched a stupid thing today. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Great. You know. How she about gets anybody to be else a better here? Better actress every day. Anybody mm. else here? Yeah. You, you no, I was really oh, bored yeah. today. I was waiting for my carburetor to soak in WD-40 today. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it was something to do while it was doing that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's it's good. That you can soak your carburetor while watching that. Well, yeah, it was just as exciting as watching that. Well, you know, I uh, I consider that uh, after they're through, I like to go over to another channel and watch paint dry. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'll tell you I one thing. Believe, I, I don't ho- believe her. One, th- one thing I hope America is beginning to understand, at least through this process, how deadly boring being in court is. You know, I went through it with my case, and man, mm-hmm. I, it was all I could do to keep from falling asleep. There, there's no action. It's slow. You know, mm-hmm. and and then they're playing a bunch of videotapes of people giving testimony a, two years ago, right? And yeah. um, depends on the case, obviously. Yeah. Do you do you believe her? Oh, I, I probably didn't pay enough attention to work. Oh, I, I, I don't believe it. <laughs> well, wait a minute. You haven't been watching it. Yeah, I said I have. Oh, you not, have? Not oh. constantly. You're, yeah. like you I mean, say, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you team Herd? Are you team Depp? Team Depp. Team Depp, yeah. I'm, I'm team Depp, too. All I know is they did a hell of a lot of partying. Yeah, well, I wish I had some of those drugs they were using. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah. Well, you he know, sat there and talked about, well, I did this much coke, I got so screwed up, and she called me, and she called me this and called me that. And... Well, you want to know something? I actually feel sorry for Johnny Depp. And I know there are a lot of women out there right now who are, you know, screaming and yelling at the screen, if we have any women even watching this. But I feel sorry for him because he's a guy who had a real, he's had a real drug problem over the years, drug, substance abuse, alcohol and drugs, okay? And he meets up with the worst possible thing that can happen to a drug addict, a woman who is constantly on your case, you know? <laughs> um, you know, I mean, it's it's amazing that that all these people are going oh poor Amber Heard poor, poor Amber Heard I mean she just com- 
completely was constantly vilifying this guy and giving him a bad time. Did you notice how everybody who talked about him, even women who were on her side, said he was a nice guy? Yes. You know, which is the last thing, by the way, I expected to find out about J Johnny Depp. I was expecting to find out he's a real asshole. Turns out he's really a pretty straight up guy who, when he gets high, loses his temper. And it, it, there's some question as to how much he actually hit Amber, okay, if, if there was any of that going on. His main violence was against the furniture. Yeah. And so what he was paying for it anyhow what difference does it make and, and the reason you you destroy furniture is because you don't want to hit the other person you know yeah. uh i happen to think he i happen to think he's okay i feel so i feel sorry for him and why, why should i feel sorry for him he met up with this woman he met up with this woman and yeah. while he was out of town guess who was coming over to be with amber elon musk yeah, yeah. You gonna tell me this woman wasn't looking for sugar daddies? Oh yeah. Definitely. You know, wasn't looking for a meal ticket? Definitely. You know, so I mean, and yes, I know what women are saying, oh yeah, but she's poor woman, blah, blah, blah. Poor woman, there are women who know how to push the right buttons and drive a guy crazy. Yes, they do. Have you known <laughs> some? Have you had some in your, I have. I have, that's why I'm not married. Yeah. No, I, I had one girlfriend life who arguing. knew every button to push, yep. every button, and and drove me nuts. You know, I had to see a shrink. You know. So anyway, that that, that that's my that's my story. We just lost two people once I said that. So. <laughs> She's uh, done with Elon Musk. Now it's Jeff's turn to go over there. Yeah, yeah. Well. You know, if she once she winds up uh, running out of people, there's a chance for me, I suppose. But I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't yeah. fuck her with your dick, as the old saying goes. Yeah, I hear that. You know, I find nothing sexy about that woman at all. But she must have had some powerful sexual mojo. There's got to be I something. Guess two very wealthy people. Yep, yep. You know, and I don't think that was it. I think there were more people too who had names who were, you know. Yep. In her quiver, as it were. What are we yep. losing, Jeff? Altogether, is he going to sleep? Is that what's happening here? Oh, in the bathroom. Uh, you have yeah, do the bathroom. No, he's, right. he's, done. You're on mute, Jeff. Well, yeah. we probably didn't want to hear it. Yeah. yeah. Um, there you go. We were getting a little criticism. We were getting criticism. What? From... Yeah, from uh, my wife. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, she's team. Is she team Amber? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Anything that's negative to women. I'm just yeah. saying that. Well, no, but you know, I mean, there are women who know how to take a guy and bring the worst out in them. You know. Uh, and and. Uh, and to say that doesn't yeah. exist is to is to deny it completely. You know, I'm not saying that all women do this or all women are terrible, and that guys don't go around and hit women who are and they're they're terrible human beings, and they should be sorted out as such. But I think in this case, I think they both, you know, in I think there was some part of them that both enjoyed being in this embattled situation. You know. Um, fault on both sides. Fault on both sides. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I I think for her to turn it for her to turn it into uh -huh. a women's issue is to minimize all the other women who do get beaten by their husbands and by their boyfriends, and 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 have have lived in these horrible situations over the years. For her to gripe about this. Uh, is to minimize their plight. Would you not yeah. agree with that? I agree. You know, I think any guy that hits his wife or a woman or something like that ought to be hung literally by his balls from a tree or something. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's a good. That would be a good start. Yeah. No. It's, well, I. No, let's face it. Uh, you know, forget about women. All right. There's no reason that you should hit anybody. Okay. No, I don't know about that. What do you? <laughs> 
Well, if you're a cop, sometimes you got to hit people. Well, I mean, you're, you're talking about being a cop. Hell, that's you, you, half the fun of being a cop is beating up people. There you go. You know, being able to Get shoot the handcuffs them. on too tight, being, them. Being a, don't a, worry, they're new; they'll break in. You know all that. Being <laughs> able to shoot them, and the best part of being a cop. This is the part I would like about being a cop: is when you take a guy in handcuffs and you put him in the back seat of your car, having to push down on his head. So he doesn't hit the hit his the, head. The, hit his no, head. The, the better part is after that when, in the olden days, you didn't have seat belts in the back seat to strap them in, and so you had this cage between you and him. And if he was an asshole and trying to spit on you, you go, "Oh my God, a dog!" And you hit the brakes, and he goes face first into the cage. And now he's got a face that looks like a waffle. Yeah. Well, yeah. for some people, that might be an improvement. Yeah. 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 Is anybody else going to call tonight, or is this it? Not that these aren't some swell, wonderful people I've got here. You know. Uh, betcha. What? I said, you betcha. You betcha. Yeah. So, betcha. I, yeah. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I, uh, uh, I was just thinking, is there anything else going on? You know, I mean, there's a lot going on. I mean, we had this, this killing of 10 people with guns up, with a gun up in up in Buffalo, uh, and and yet we still don't do something about it, you know. We thoughts and prayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still all oh, gun, gun rights. You got to have your gun rights, even if the people who have the rights to a gun is a guy who goes in and kills ten uh, it, racially motivated black people uh, in 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 a, in a supermarket in uh, in Buffalo. I mean, and we do nothing about it. We just do nothing about it. Possibility we have another uh, reality star in uh, the Senate. Possibility. Oh, you mean I'm talking about Mehmet? Yeah. Dr. Oz. Well, okay. I don't know that he's necessarily going to get elected. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've, hmm? I've worked with him. Have you? Yeah. And he's an asshole, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've worked with him too. He worked at Sirius mm -hmm. XM. Dr. Oz did? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's an asshole. He'd be yeah. an asshole. He had a rumor. He had, he had the reputation on the whole floor of being nothing but an asshole. Oh. Yeah. I could see it. We have we have a Republican senator like that uh, that's a doctor. Well, you know, he spent 10 years on television giving out bad medical information. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, literally <laughs> bad, bad medical info. Yeah. Uh not uh, not good you know yeah. so what the hell so anyway so uh, yeah Dr. Oz is uh, and then the, the, there was that guy in the wheelchair that was talking about a Crawford 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 oh oh that that guy the guy who said they were having orgies in Washington yeah he got booted he got he, he, well, yeah he he's not gonna be able to run again I gotta tell you these politics there is no hold barred and half of what they say about the opponent is bullshit you know, and I got that. Can't people just have a, a, a you know, a discussion and, and, and say what they're for and not go after the other guy with, you know, nine inch nails and stuff? I don't know. Well, you know, I mean, uh, the fact is that Oz uh, uh, was uh, was, so damn dirty. was uh, backed by, by Trump. And so he has become this mm. Trumper, you know. And mm -hmm. I think some of these people who become Trumpers are going to have a hard time getting reelected. Uh, because not everybody's a Republican. In fact, no. you have Republicans over here, you have Democrats over here, and then you have this great amount of people who are in the middle. Right. And and they don't know which way to go, but they don't want to go with the situation in which people are saying that the last election was stolen, you know, and use that as a reason why they're running. Yeah, Phil sent me a text today and said, uh, it looks like uh, Trump's going to get a chance to run again. Will you vote for him? And I'm like, hell no. And he said, why not? And I said, because he was a big crybaby because he lost. Well, Phil says, no, it's because he he fought. He, he, you know, he didn't take it on his back. He didn't just drop and say. Did you, did you no. vote for him originally? Yeah, in 2020. The first time, right? Mm -hmm. No, in, in 2016. No, in 2020, because I didn't like Biden. Oh, no. and. I, I did. I I had no, you know. Usually when I vote for somebody, they lose. So I was good. 
Well, thank you for voting for him. Well, you know, I got a lot of Republican friends, and I didn't want to hear the grief, so there you go. So you chose to, this is funny, you chose to vote for Hillary over Trump, but, In not, but not Biden over Trump. Yes. I find yeah. that an interesting choice. Well, uh, yeah. But Biden, you know, to me, Biden, and you admit this too, Alex, that he's not the greatest president we've ever had. But, he, you know, when he was vice president, he was kind of, you know, asleep in his chair a lot of times, you know, and I don't know. I just Obama praised him. Obama, I thought, was a really good president. But I don't know. I just I couldn't see him being president. Some of his politics and stuff just weren't where I was at. And Trump, I, you know, Trump has certainly got seven skeletons in the closet and a lot of issues around him, including mainly COVID, but the economy was in much better shape under him. But now, I, partly, I don't think that the failing of the economy is Biden's fault. That was partly. Fault. Partly. No, I don't even think partly. Whose fault do you think it is? I think it is the zeitgeist, the tone of the times. It's a, a bunch of things coming together. Cyclical. To say, you it, think it's cyclical? No, I don't think it's cyclical. No. I think it's a bunch no. of, of, of component parts coming together to cause a catastrophe. And I think part of that happens to be what's going on in the Ukraine right now and the fact that we are not buying Russian oil. And right. so gas prices go up. That's one mm -hmm. thing. Actually, it went up because the gas companies raised the prices on gas because they raised them before we ran out of Russian oil in this country. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Just like when Trump came into office, it wasn't in good shape because of him. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, if Biden could have. If uh, Biden was a great president, he would have fixed that. That's uh, my and, I know and, he's only been there. Lessons. You know, then we had then we had COVID, which I think caused a giant hit on the economy, and it is Dude. it is hitting after the fact. It wasn't hitting while it was going on, as much as it's hitting after the fact. And so between those two things, I mean, I don't think any of this is Biden's fault, but Biden's going to get blamed for it. According to Business News. Only five times in the past recent history, past 50 or 60 years, has the whole world been in a recession at the same time, including us. So it's obviously not just us or not just Biden. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to blame Biden for this particular. I, I don't blame him for it either. I, but I, what I will I blame him, I'll tell you what I'll blame him for, his inability to get us out of it. That's right. Okay. And I think he's been terrible when it comes to getting us out of it. I don't think he has a clue of how to handle it. I agree. If I had my advice to offer to him, there'd be a couple of pieces of advice I would offer. Advice, piece of advice number one. Go die. Stay off no. fucking television. Yeah, really. <laughs> you know, you're on every goddamn day, and I'm sorry... You're not very, uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? TV oriented. Appealing. It, it, not very appealing and not very That's convincing. Right. right. Okay. Let other people speak for you. Let the, the various uh, people in your in your uh, cabinet Like speak. Matt Gates. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> people in your cabinet t do it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, let them uh, yeah. speak for you. But he's on every day, you know, and he doesn't really give you a, it, it, he doesn't inspire me, you know. I mean, Obama used to inspire me. Me too. Obama was very good at that. He was a great cheerleader. Uh, Clinton was inspiring. Yeah. Uh, you know, but, but uh, Biden's a wet rag. He's but I voted for Biden to beat Trump. That's why you voted for him, right? Yeah, because they, he was the only, he was our only hope. Luke, you're our only hope. And by the way, yeah. by the way, Alan was right. You were watching the game, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I got my yelling and screaming out of the way, so I, I'm in a good mood. So it's okay. Good. And yeah. the Warriors won. 
Yes. They were on their way to the playoffs or something. Oh, now I got playoffs to contend with, huh? Yeah, but but the good thing is they start every night. Well, the nights they play, they start at 6 p.m., so they end around 8.30, 8.20. Oh, okay. So we'll get to see you every night late. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. What? (laughs) No, I'm talking with my friends. (laughs) She wants me to play Roblox, but... Are, are you, you'll, are, you'll hear her yell and scream every once in a while. I have a funny feeling. Are you her favorite parent? Yeah. She always seems that. to be, she wants to come in and show you the pictures. And she wants to, you know, I mean, I don't know how she relates to your wife, but she seems to really adore you. Yeah, they always say that the daughters go for the, they they cling to the, the men for a while. And then when yeah. she does that, you just want to kill her. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I really am disappointed in Biden. You know, I thought he would be better than this. All he... I, I agree. I think you should get more involved with the war early on too. I I just don't think he do, has been doing much. Nope. You know, I mean, he does a lot. Gives a lot of speeches, and you know, and he goes then he goes to Buffalo and he gives a speech, and the speech he gives, I could I could have written it ahead of time and told you what he was going to say. You know. And today he he enacted the War Act. To make baby food, so I guess now maybe General Motors is going to stop building cars and start making baby food. That's what the War Act is about, you know. That when during World War II, where you know companies like General Motors and, and Ford and stuff like that were making vehicles or parts or something like that for the war effort. I mean, some, well, something's got to do. Somebody's got to do something about the FDA, okay? Uh, because part of the reason this baby formula problem has existed is that Abbott, there was some one little batch of Abbott uh, formula that okay. somehow came out having bacteria in it or something. They okay. don't know how it happened. They don't know why it happened. They closed down the whole goddamn factory in the production of all formula. Did you ever take Zantac? Zantac? Did you ever take Zantac. Yeah, they don't make it anymore because it's... They don't make it anymore because one bat showed up with a bad thing and the FDA pulled it. Yeah. I don't think... uh, I think in the case of baby formula, they were maybe a little wrong to do that. You know? That they could have probably found out what where the problem was without having to stop shipping formula all across the the country. The formula was only a liquid that was bad. There's a lot of formula out there that's in... in, In Powder uh, form. Powder Powder form. Yeah, but that's not available. But wait, wait a minute. Am, now I don't know about this. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, you you've had babies, uh, Brian, so you know about formula. Uh, don't you don't you take the in most cases take powder and add it to like water and then you mix m- makes yeah. the formula. Yeah. And what is formula exactly? It's it's not milk, because you don't want to give kids milk. Is that what it's about? I don't know. I gotta stop a screaming kid. Hold on, I'll be back. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's nutritional stuff. It, they try and mimic uh, natural breast milk for women that don't want to do breastfeeding. Or can't. Or can't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just, you know, I th- this whole thing with the baby for I mean, I feel terrible for these mothers. You know, I mean, I saw some yeah. on television today were literally in tears because their kids need it because they're allergic to most other ways you could solve this problem. Right. And so they need this formula desperately. And because the FDA said, oh, Abbott, you can't make anymore. Well, Abbott, I think, was the number one maker of it in the country. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, it's a mess. You know, uh, it, it but again, they're, bl- they, they're blaming this on Biden. <coughs> the FDA you know, but, uh, maybe, you been know, maybe, around for a long time. I don't think Biden put screwed up the, the, the stuff, but he's not done a very good job at fixing it. This has gone on for a month now. And just uh, then he enacts a war act 
So some company that normally makes, I don't know what, is going to make baby formula. doesn't make a lot of sense. No, it doesn't. What were you going to say? saying something, Brian? I just going to say FDA has their regulations and they have all their processes that they go through. So, you know. Your company uh, probably has to deal with them a lot, huh? Yeah, they audit and so does California FDA. So I used to have to run all the audits because I was manufacturing. So. <laughs> Yeah, but isn't it amazing the FDA said, no, you can't make formula until we figure out what this problem is. And now because there's a problem of no formula, they go, oh, well, you can go make it. Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I mean, would uh, hope that they, you know, every every batch that comes out, they have to do testing, right? So if they mm -hmm. somehow found this, whatever way they found that, make sure they're double, tripling the test, their samples or whatever it is to ensure that the stuff that they can continue to ship would be good, right? Like you're saying, Alex, not stop all the process, you know, try to isolate it and see what Well, the especially, I mean, I, I can't believe, I guess Abbott is one of the few people that makes formula, is that, am I right about that? I guess. There's, There's only a few. three but, major but they companies. Make it, they, they're so big, yeah. they make it in yeah. 20 different locations around the world so the one location where the, the, the bacteria yeah. was, you shut that down and you let the other ones run. Yeah. But if they can't keep up with the production, they'd have to tool up and that takes time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you figure if Abbott and there's a couple other companies that are shipping everything, if Abbott's the major contributor, they're they're making stuff to that they have revenue to sell. So it's not like that they're yeah. making stuff and it sits on the shelves and expires, you know? So. Obviously, anything that you stop in that kind of that kind of supply chain is going to hurt. Let me so, ask this question though, and I think this is an important question to ask. Didn't they see this problem coming? In other words, those shelves didn't get empty all of a sudden overnight because there was a run on formula. They just got uh -huh. empty because there was no new product being made to put on those shelves. So they had to have seen this Rumor. coming months ago. Unless they had to recall stuff. I don't know if they had to recall any of that. So they, what's in baby form is carbohydrates, protein, extra ing ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Um, Kirkland makes their own. They recommend that. Um, is Kirkland available? Yeah, but you need to buy a 55-gallon drum. <laughs> it's Costco's brand. Two of them. But, yeah. Yeah, two. but Johnson & Johnson makes it. Gerber makes it. There you go, Johnson and Johnson. They have a great, great track yeah, record too. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably laced with uh, baby powder. But you got to think about that. That might be just labels, and they may be made by Abbott, sold under those labels. Yeah, that, that could, could be. be. And like Kirkland, many times will go. Uh, uh, Costco will go to the person who makes. Well, I can give you an example. Uh, chicken of the sea tuna. Okay, uh, they have chicken of sea tuna at Costco. Right next to it, they have Kirkland tuna the one i've been told to buy is kirkland tuna because it's made by starkist yeah. but they tell them they want it slightly better than the starkist so it, that's why many times when you buy kirkland it's better than the than the the stuff that's sitting right next to it they have really high standards yeah. so, have the uh, so i'm wondering you you could very well be right if the kirkland isn't made by abbott yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. mostly what happens. Yeah, that, that's what they do with car wax. They have all the spray on detail stuff, and we could start Brian and Kevin or Kevin and Brian's wax because there's this manufacturer that will make their wax and they put whatever label you want on it and they'll ship it to you. And that's what a couple of these big guys yeah. around here it's the same stuff, it's just labeled different. Well, if you can't get the Abbott, is the Costello available? <laughs> <laughs> I Just had I had to do that. I had to do that. Yeah, but uh, it's a very sad time. You know, the, there's so many things that are wrong going well, on. Well, they're going to go more wrong because this fall, if the uh, Democrats don't hold on to their seats, uh, or at least their balls, it only uh, takes one seat in the Senate. And they're screwed. Yeah, so I, I mean, uh, if 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 they the the Senate and the Congress all go uh, with a majority with the Republicans, then we're in trouble. I, I kind of remember having a conversation about this about two years ago, yeah. about how the Democrats could easily fuck everything up, and it seems that they are on that path right now. 
And I absolutely agree. The question is, are the well, I don't put it out of out of out of the question that Trump could walk in there. Are the well, but, I don't. I think Trump's chances are of being the nominee next time are nil. Okay. I don't think they're nil at all. I don't think they're nil either. Well. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, you know, I, I just feel bad that I'm not old enough that I can't leave this country. You know. Look, as long as he kicks DeSantis out of the run, then we have a better chance that Biden or Harris or whoever will stay in. Well, I don't. I don't think Biden's yeah. going to run again. I mean, I he, hell knows no, right no, now. No. I, no. You know, and I'm saying this as an as a as a 52 year old person, okay, folks. So don't think I'm being ageist when I say this. But he's doddering enough as it is already. Another two years on him, and forget it. He isn't going to know which direction to go to leave the stage. He'll be 80. God, can you believe it? Well, he'll be 80, but you know he's more 80 than I'm 82. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. You know. And he gets lost when he's doing State of the Union, and I mean, they practice the shit yeah, I, out of that. I it's can't cool. watch him. I can't watch him. No, I can't either. I can't either. Uh, and and it's sad because you know we right now we need a strong leader, and yep. he could at least give the impression of being a strong leader by backing off on giving speeches, having other people talk for him, and pretend like he's b burning the midnight oil, getting the job done, while these other people are out there holding press conferences. Yep. Yep. Instead, you got him flying all over the place, giving one press conference after another. He's kind. Of, you know what he kind of is. He's the Netflix of presidents. Let me explain this. Netflix l loses 200,000 subscriptions and they start panicking, which is no time to panic. Right. You knew this was gonna happen eventually. You know, sure. just keep a stiff upper lip, don't make a big deal out of it and soldier on. But no, no. They're firing people over at Netflix, all right? Mm -hmm. The point, in fact, is that this president is panicked about what's going to happen in the fall, and he's spending too much of his time fighting that panic. He's, he's running against that panic, and he shouldn't be. It's the same thing as with Netflix, you know? Uh, don't mm -hmm. go crazy. Don't, you know, you, you, I don't know. He just shouldn't be going out and giving speeches as much as he does because he's trying to win somebody over every time he gives another speech he digs another hole for himself well, that's a typical democratic move i mean that's what the democrats do boy and that's being advised i thought we were smarter than that i thought we were the party that was smart you know well, look over, look over the last few elections this is exactly what they've done well, I mean, so could, if could it, were, if the Democrats were that smart, Trump would have never been elected. Could it be that both parties suck? They do. Yeah, I agree. I'm not. I'm not throwing it all on the on the mm -hmm. Democrats. It's, I mean, it's we are in a fun. we are in a state of um, of um, the inability and, to get anything done. Anything. And Americans are lazy. They won't vote people out and put new people in. We talked about that recently too. Uh, Josh made the point just the other night that the reason the Supreme Court takes on these course cases is because the Congress can't won't do it because they just sit up there and pick their noses and bitch about shit. Mm. They could have dealt they could have people in there. Yeah. If we put new people in there to do something, it wouldn't even need to go to the Supreme Congress Court. Congress could have dealt with the abortion issue years ago. Exactly. You know. But we sit around and just keep oh, the election that's tomorrow. Oh yeah, okay. And boom, boom, boom. I know this guy, I know this guy. Just let him go again. And it, that's why everything stays the same. And and Democrats say, we're Get this, right and Republicans... Get rid of Schumer. Get rid of what's-her-name, Pelosi. Get rid of all these old farts that are in there for so long and put some fresh blood in there to do something. And if I, you know, if I were Biden when I got elected, the day I got elected, I would uh, be on the ground running trying to get as much passed as humanly possible before the midterms. Right. Trump, you know, Trump and he's that. done nothing. But they all play survival. It's yep. all survival. Well, they're all Netflix. 
Okay. Yeah. Suddenly, it, 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 at the they sign look ahead of, and go, "Oh shit, I'm going to go down. What exactly, do we do now?" Exactly. Rather than saying, "Hey, we're cool," you know, yeah. if 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 the Democrats simply had a sense of confidence they were instilling in the public, it would all be different. But they're not. They're what? drumming up people to get up off their asses and go out and vote. I mean, Marjorie was saying to me one day, oh, we're not going to win in November. We're going to lose the midterms. And I went, we are if you keep talking like that. Right. Because, uh, you know, everybody's going to get this, oh, woe is me. We can't win this thing. What was that? That was my phone. Sorry. Oh, it's a nice, was that a ringtone? No, it's my uh, text tone. Oh, your text tone. Text tone. It's so big, coming, coming back coming back from Sweden, I asked one of my friends, he's, he's pretty well off, and I asked him, I said, do you ever think about moving to another country? Mm-hmm. And he says, well, not right now because I'm running for president. And I said, what? And he is. He's, he's running in the Libertarian Party, and he's running for president for 24. Really? Yes, really, really. Yeah. Did you tell him he hasn't got a chance in hell? He knows. Yeah, he he talked about it to me for a little while, but yeah. I mean, I wish he had a chance. I wish we had so strong a democracy that other parties had an an equal chance of prevailing. Yeah. But we don't. You know. That's what frustrates me about the whole thing. It should be at least a third party. You'd like you'd like a choice, you know. Uh, I mean. what you got to go to the dance with the only girl that's available, you know? Well, I've never joined either one of them. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I was with both of them, and I. Was well, I recently went back to becoming a Democrat, and the reason I did that was I found that as an independent, I couldn't vote in the primaries, and that uh, gave me absolutely no say in the matter. Okay, I mean it's bad enough that I don't have a say in the matter in New York. Because California, you can bounce back and forth every election. So well, you you can change parties, right? You can change parties on that day, an hour before. Hmm. Right, right. But oh. but here you don't get to vote in the primaries unless you're, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. You said, Alex, that you don't think Biden will run. What happens if he doesn't run? Can, does Kamala run for president? No, I I don't think she can get nominated. I don't think so either. Yeah. So who is there? I don't know. We have one yeah, minute Gavin left. Gavin Newsom. We have one minute left to solve this problem. Who? Gavin Newsom. <laughs> Gavin Newsom. Most powerful is, Democrat in the country. Newsom is not a bad a bad idea. How about how about the the governor that got kicked out in New York there the the, the unfounded charges? Cuomo. Cuomo. Yeah, he's got a bit of baggage though, you know. Yeah. But the thing is with with Newsom. Uh, I think he could go up against Trump and really give him a run for his money. Absolutely. You know, because smart he's smart guy. and he's young and, you know, he's yeah. he's not, uh, he, 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 he's, he doesn't let anybody get away with anything either. Nope. He doesn't let people slip something by <laughs> him or try and, and say he's something that he's not and whatever. <clears throat> well, anyway. Hey, listen, there's our theme song. Here we go. Over already? Yeah. It's turned out to be pretty nice, even though it's a small group of people. To hell with everybody else, right? Do we need them? No. No, we don't need them. This after Warriors basketball, please. As long as I got Kevin, as long as I got Alan, as long as I got Jeff, and as long as I got Brian, I don't need the rest of you. Okay? We got Alex. Huh? There you go. Because we got Alex. Uh, well, we, I've, got, I've got you, and that's the big blessing in my life. Did, did you stop your pregabalin real quick? <laughs> what? Uh, this, is, this is coming to a serious question. The question is, is the past couple of weeks you've been, you, you haven't said, I'm losing it, I can't remember what I was going to say, and you actually have been on target lately. You, you don't seem like you're as loopy as you were three months ago. I'm still taking the pergabalin. Oh. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> or whatever it's called. <laughs> anyway, I'll send you some thank more. you. Uh, th- thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate it. Always appreciate it. You too, Alan. You too, Jeff. And of course, to Brian, you know, we love having you here too. And uh, 
why don't you just all give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye as well, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, they're out of here. Jack Bishop will do a citizen's panel next on the intersection. He does it on Skype. And the, uh, the address for that is GabNet Live. I'll see you again, uh, what, tomorrow night? 1030. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. <laughs>